Why, yes, I have seen the Batman, so stay tuned for my non-spoiler reaction. Tell us now! Ah, the best geek news! Hello, hello, welcome back from the weekend. Let's just kick things off in grand fashion. Yes, I've seen the Batman. I've had to lie for weeks about it, so in a way, I kind of know what Andrew Garfield's been going through. You better lawyer up, asshole. My immediate reaction to the Batman is that it feels like a living, breathing graphic novel come to life. It's grounded in realism in a way the Nolan films were, but it's drenched with this neo-noir pulp that captures the comic book vibe of Batman better than anything since Batman the Animated Series, in my opinion. <laughs> Don't just take my word for it though, as of right now, the Batman is sitting at a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm delighted the critics are liking it. Now this isn't to say that I had zero issues with the movie. There are some minor thoughts I had, but the more I thought about it after the movie was over, the more they really didn't bother me. Versus, for example, The Dark Knight Rises, where the more I thought about that movie after I saw it, the less I liked it, which is a tough thing for me to admit. Then I will break you. If I had to sum up the Batman, I'd say it feels like Dread meets The Crow, which is a compliment of the highest order, trust me. The cast is incredible, I can't say enough good things about them. Robert Pattinson is a solid choice for a younger version of Batman, but I do want to see more of his Bruce Wayne. I also thought he and Zoe probably have the best on-screen chemistry of any version of Batman and Catwoman to date. Paul Dano is terrifying as the Riddler, but Colin Farrell hamming it up as Oswald Cobblepot is probably my favorite. Can't wait to see the HBO Max spinoff. Whoa, take it easy, sweetheart. Speaking of the Penguin, in an interview with SFX Magazine, the Batman producer Dylan Clark said the Solo Penguin series will be like a Scarface story, which checks out since Colin Farrell's Penguin has a scar on his face. You wanna know how I got these scars? A TV show adapting the Twisted Metal video game is being adapted for Peacock starring Anthony Mackie and Will Arnett. Hopefully it's good, but we have a hard enough time making video game adaptations that actually have a story. Good point. Indiana Jones 5 has officially wrapped production, which hopefully means that Harrison Ford's shoulder injury has completely healed. Shoulder injuries, unfortunately, are bound to happen when a 79-year-old man cracks a whip. <laughs> Today we got what's been touted as the final trailer for Morbius, though with the exception of an extra line or two from Michael Keaton, it felt almost like all of the other Morbius trailers. We also got a new trailer for Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. You know, as much as I love the wizarding world of Hogwarts and all of that, I've really had a hard time getting into this franchise without Harry Potter himself. What I mean is this looks really well made, but I'm just not that excited for it. Expecto Patronum! Ah, hope you like the show. Now follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Like the video for support, subscribe, and turn on notifications or I will break you.